it seemed like the star of the show at QuickCon this year was Doom Eternal. Yes. They promised they're going to show gameplay. I had no idea they're going to show that much gameplay. It was it's like nearly 17 minutes, I think. It's yeah. absurd. They could have done a two minute teaser. And I think fans would have been satisfied. But just wave after wave of just showing more and more and more yeah. different locations. Bert, it's rare that I see you so excited. But like in our <laughs> Slack channel, you were buzzing. And then you had to give like a Reiner-esque walk around the bullpen. Like, Phew, like Kramer coming through the door. Like, did you guys see that shit? That was crazy. I was buzzing. It was like the metal was coursing through my veins. <laughs> yeah. What was it? What had you guys so excited? At the speed. You know, honestly, like my favorite thing about the, the Doom reboot was when you use certain uh, suit upgrades and runes, your character could get really fast and you'd just be moving through ripping and tearing these dudes like with a velocity that you usually don't see in first person shooters. And yeah. The new one looks faster. The meat hook thing that they put on the super shotgun where you can kind of like latch on to yeah. demons and use them to transport yourself around the map and the new dash function. It's like the latest DMC. It's just a lot of grappling yeah. hooking around. I mean, Doom 2016... The message they told you is don't stop moving or you die. Uh -huh. Like, and you're chaining together kills, like kind of like a Tony Hawk game. It, it, when you get into the, the the flow, you really do feel like you're just owning that stage. In this game, they've really opened it up. That's the big thing I saw was the first game allowed plenty of space for you to move around freely and pick different ways to pick apart the enemies. But this one, there's so much verticality to the spaces. Like you said, the the meat hook opens that up where you can propel yourself across the arena let go and kind of fling yourself even further. Uh, you're using, uh, you got a wall climb now where you can almost, he's almost like got the moves of like Mario, right? Like he can flip off poles. <laughs> the uh -huh. most metal Mario ever. Right, he can right. dash, Just but yeah, it's blood. like Mario first jump person and shooter. legs to float like Luigi a little <laughs> bit. It's got everything you want. That's Doom 3, man. Oh my God. Oh my okay, God. so I, I'm, not a, I'm not a Doom guy, but is the is the meat hook thing a callback or reference? Is that completely new to Doom? It's just like it's a new, new thing. It's like yeah. a grapple. The okay. super shotgun's back. Like that's a, a fan favorite. Like the two shotguns that Doom's yeah. kind of known for. Yeah, and he's got like a blade on his arm now. He yeah, does. Yeah, they new. redesigned the Doom Slayer. Uh, he also has a equipment launcher on his back. They just turned him into the Predator. Yeah, yeah it's, I mean, great. it's like, <laughs> like a, super it fast Predator. Yeah, rockets and flames and all yeah, sorts there, of crazy stuff. Yeah, it looks like stuff. there's a lot of different loadouts for that, which yeah. I'm excited to ex experiment with. And yeah. Those weapons you're using aren't just to kill things, but you got to start thinking strategically. Like when you use a flamethrower and hit someone, they drop armor shards. So, you, you know, it's like, okay, I need armor. I need health. So you're going to start using weapons based on your needs as well okay. as you're just flowing through these, these waves of enemies. Right, right, right. Twice as many enemies. Yeah, which um, isn't necessary because, you know, like that one of the criticisms you could levy against the last game was towards the end, it started to feel kind of samey. They weren't throwing new challenges toward you. I think uh, adding, you know, twice as many enemies might go a long way to make that yeah. feel a little fresher. And it was cool that, like, they said that they were pulling from, like, Doom 2's enemies specifically, like, because this is kind of sort They're of a Doom yeah. 2 in some way. Like, it's hell on earth, the entire premise here. And they also said destructible demons. They're yeah. big on, like, so battle damage. The Arachnotron, real quick, you can uh, pick away at the big gun on its back, destroy that, and then he's... He can still attack, but he's weaker, right? His big, huge BFG kind of attack is gone. Mm -hmm. uh, and then... The other big change is it's not just Mars and, and hell. You're going, you're bringing hell to Earth, and then they're taking you deeper into the cosmos to places we haven't seen before. Like uh, one planet we saw was Phobos mm -hmm. that had the BFG 10,000 on it, which is just this huge <laughs> so Death Star-like cannon mounted on the surface of that planet. I, I will say during that demo, like I, I did like, love the original, the original, the reboot uh -huh. of Doom. Uh, I did feel like the level design for Hell was a little bit disappointing towards the end, where it was just a lot of stone and fire, you know? Yeah. I could have gotten a little bit more creative, and I really like sort of like just the living organism approach they took with all the level design we saw in like that big city, you know, when he w when the Doom Slayer was just sort of navigating. It was for really sure. gross and gory, but interesting looking. I kind of hope there's more of that, that there's more interesting level design and art design. Yeah, well, they even teased in the video, which was an odd detail about like, hey, we really give a crap about the lore of oh, Doom. Yeah. And they had a quote where they said, uh, we're not making a Doom game anymore. We're building a Doom universe. That's right. They could have done better with that. Doomiverse. Doomiverse, <laughs> obviously. What do you guys take? They're that not mean? EA. Uh, Does that mean like a, a name not like yet. Eternal means they want it to be a living game or they're just talking no, about every, blowing out the lore? Blowing out the lore. Everything okay. in the game has a meaning and a purpose. Like, why am I fighting this guy? Where did this gun come from? You're going to find all that stuff out. Okay. And it's not just like they had that stuff in Doom 2016 off to the side where you'd go read the codex. Codices? Is that plural for codex i don't know code uh, who gives a f but uh <laughs> good answer uh but that is sewn more into the the critical path 
uh, so you're going to learn more about what's going on as you play. But yes, some of it will still be optional. But Doom guy also looks like he still doesn't give a <laughs> shit about what the story is, which I love. You know that scene where he just grabs, grabs the key the card guy. and drags the guy with the lanyard. Right, over everyone's so scared face. of him. Yep. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, I really like that interview that you did when you were talking with him about the like. I think you asked them a question like, "Do pe- do players actually care about this or yeah, something?" Yeah. And they were like, "Well, there is like a." Sp- you know, a part of our fan base that like devours the codex yep. that is just really into it. I'm really glad that they're like developing for that. Yep. Yeah. Anything else you learned from talking to those guys that people wouldn't have learned just watching the stream? Yeah. There's a lot in uh, the preview and interview uh, I posted on the site. Um, anything else? They, they know that the multiplayer sucked ass last oh, time. Oh, yeah. 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 They, they're they, making oh, it internally yeah. now. Yeah. They kept oh, throwing certain affinity under the bus, basically, and going, oh, like, no. look, we realize it wasn't Doom enough. Yeah, oh, other things. Snap Map is gone. They're looking at mods. They won't say if they're going to be in or not. Is it just Snap Maps? Do, snap Maps, do you think overall was seen as a failure? Do they have any oh, like yeah. Yeah. massive oh, really? failure? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and also, Escalation Studios that made that, Todd Howard devoured that and made that another Bethesda Game Studio studio. So, so Bethesda like he Game. himself. Yeah, he did. He's so, that's um, the Dallas he studio. Now, right? his jaws. <laughs> it's like a snake. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and, he said, and then, that, he said that they're working on Starfield as well, this team down in Dallas correct. now. Uh, the last thing is they announced it for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and right out of the gate, Switch. So I That's hope that crazy. means... Running at a hot 480p. <laughs> I hope that means all at the same time. Yeah, that Opposed nice. to like the staggered release on Switch. Did oh. you play the Switch version of the last one, JV? Or is that just yeah, yeah, it's... I thought it was okay when it came out, and then I played the Wolfenstein one, and the Wolfenstein is, you know, it's not like a transformation, but it's markedly better. So I'm kind of hoping that... Doom Eternal gets the same thing where it's like, oh, this is really good because going back to the Doom release on Switch, it just, there's a huge difference between the console release of course. and the Switch release in terms of like how fast everything feels that I don't like. Okay. I gotcha. don't like that. Uh, one of the interesting things they also said is that in this one, hinting at multiplayer here, is that you can invade other people's games. Yeah. Do you like that idea, Bert? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, okay. uh, I try to keep an open mind, but immediately I was like, well, that doesn't look like a thing I'm interested in. Well, right. Uh, well, hopefully you can just turn it off, right? Yeah. And so well, are you, you just choose an enemy to play, or are you going in as one of those freaky marauder guys? Don't know. And okay. you can team up with other people to create a invasion force, basically, to go into games. But they <sighs> said that so might weird. not be the only way you can kind of interact in the, the game itself. So there Twitch might be integration like, or something. Well, under? there might be co-op. Maybe they're hinting at. I don't know. Hey, it's interesting that, that like you have these developers giving, you know, players the tools, especially after the divisions whole dark zone thing, uh, the tools to be massive assholes in other people's spaces. Right. You know, and I'm kind of curious, like the mindset with how do developers, you know, sort of curb that maybe for people who don't want that, whether it is just a switch or it's like they justify it to themselves and like, well, that's part of this universe, so deal with it. Right, you right. Know? That was just a clip from a larger show called The Game Informer Show. You can find it on iTunes, Google Play, or GameInformer.com. We take the fun opportunities and exclusive information from Game Informer Magazine and boil it into a show that airs every Thursday with exclusive cover story information, developer interviews, a lot of fun stuff. So come love games with us.